where to find fish for your aquaponic system. This is what we're gonna see together in this video. Hello aquaponics growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. My aim is to help you to build and manage your own aquaponic system in your own backyard to produce fruit and vegetables, also fish that are sustainable, healthy and tasty. So today we're going to see where you can find your fish for your aquaponic system. You know, it's very cool to, uh, to build an aquaponic system, very cool to know how to manage different parameters and I give you a lot of explanation about this but I got a lot of people who come to me and say ah oh, I need to find some fish where can I find them uh, and if you go to a pet shop most of the time you are not going to find fish that are adapted to your aquaponic system not fish that are edible and adapted to the weather where you live so there are different ways to find fish the first one if you are lucky is basically to order them from a website, an internet website. So if you live in a big city, you most probably have an aquaculture farm that is able to ship some fish to your place. So um, you can simply have a look online, you put uh, the area where you live and you, you type the word fingerlings. So what is fingerlings, fish fingerlings? Uh, it's basically the fish that are very small. So when they are small, we call them fingerlings because they are the size of the finger, sometimes way smaller. So uh, they are called fingerlings. So if you look on the internet, you put uh, fish fingerlings and the name of your location. And you may find some hatchery that are able to sell you some fish. So sometimes you have to go there, which is great if it's close to your place, but sometimes they are even able to ship them to where you live. So if it's the case, that's perfect, very easy. You order online, uh, you transfer the money and you receive the fish. So the fish, when they arrive, they are packed in a bag, transparent plastic bag most of the time. In this bag, the, the, far, the fish farmer, the hatchery, they're gonna put some water and on top you got a volume of air. In this air, sometimes they put Pure, pure oxygen, very often actually. And it helps to maintain a very high concentration of oxygen into the bag. So depending on the number of fish uh, that the hatchery is gonna be able to pack for you, uh, the, the pack is gonna be able to remain, to, to keep the fish alive for 24, 48 hours, sometimes more. So it allows them to really ship them to a nice perimeter and sometimes it reach your place. So have a look on the internet and that's where that's the first spot you, where you can find uh, some fish. Then you also have the possibility to go there, to go to the fish farm and to buy the fish. So have a look on the internet if you find some fish farm around your place. They may not be able to ship some fingerlings because they may not be interested, but sometimes they may be happy to sell some small ones, some fingerlings or some yearlies, so fish that are only one year that you can take and grow in your aquaponic system. So that's very convenient. Have a look also if you, can, if you can't find fish farm, have a look for hatchery. You put fish hatchery and look what is around your place. If you know the species of fish that you want to grow, put the name of the fish. Trout hatchery, trout farm. And you put the location, right? That's going to help you to localize some fish farm around your place. So if you go to the fish farm, please, take some time to talk with the fish farmers. They are very interesting person. Most of the time you can get some really good advice, uh, depending on the species you're gonna grow, you know, each species has got some specificities. And also the species that they're gonna grow most of the time is gonna be very well adapted to the, to the weather condition of where you live. So the person is gonna give you some really good tips, you know, like, oh, after this month, the fish is not gonna eat much. It's gonna eat this quantity of food, this type of food, quality of food. So very often you're gonna be able to buy a bag of fish food from them as well. So it's really perfect, you know? So try to basically create a relationship with those farmers. And, and sometimes if you, are very, if you are a beginner, you may be able to call them and for advice, you know? And they will be very happy to give you some advice. So it's a it's very good thing to do, to go to the farm and and spend a good time with people and be very interested in what they do and most of the time if you're interested in what they do they're going to be very happy to give you some very useful advice so the third thing is to basically 
go fishing in the local river or in the local dam where you live. So obviously in aquaponics we are growing fish in fresh water. So don't go fishing in the sea, uh, but if you are in fresh water, if you have some lakes around your place or rivers, go there. Try to go fishing and see what you can catch. If you can catch a few, uh, few fish of the same species, it may be interesting to grow them, depending on what it is. Uh, but at least you know that it's adapted to the weather condition of where you live. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be good in a tank, so you need to do a bit of research, making sure that the fish is going to be able to, re to survive in a tank at home, because in a tank, most of the time, we don't have much current, we don't have the same quantity of oxygen as in a river. So it's always possible to keep them in a tank, but then you will maybe have to increase the quantity of oxygen available in the fish tank to adapt it to the species of fish that you want to grow, basically. But really, going fishing in the local river is very interesting. And sometimes you can even recreate a whole ecosystem. You go fishing and then you can see some maybe little freshwater prawns, uh, whatever, uh, crayfish, you know, yabbies or whatever type of animals that you can find. Sometimes it's very interesting to grab them and to put them in your ecosystem. As long as they're not going to eat the other fish that you are already trying to grow, right? But if you can catch a few fish here and there, then after a few times going fishing, that's really nice to spend some time uh, in the border of a river or a lake. You spend some good time there, you come back home and then you have the fish and you grow them at home. I think it's also quite fun. So that could be another thing really, to go fishing and to grab the fish from uh, the local rivers and lakes. The fourth source of fish will be your connection with other people who are growing fish in aquaponics. So you may have some friends who are already growing some fish in aquaponics. And in this case, it's perfect. You can go there, maybe the fish are reproducing by themselves in the setup, or maybe uh, your friend has got too many fish, you know, sometimes when you stock the fish when they are small, you can put a lot of them, but then when they grow, the biomass of fish is increasing in the fish tank, and then you need to sell a few. So then you can buy some from your friend, and that would be perfect, you know, uh, it would be good for him, good for you, and also your friend is going to be a good source of advice. So point number four is to basically get them for relatives, friends or connections that you may already have. Finally, you can also go online and look for secondhand websites where people sell secondhand things. And sometimes you can find some fish for sale. People who are reproducing them or whatever, same, same reason as your friends, they may have too many of them in the fish tank and they want to sell a few. So that's also a good area where you can find some fish. So I hope this video is going to be helpful and I hope it's going to help you to find your fish wherever you live on the planet. Uh, if you have any other source of, uh, of fish that I may have forgotten for some reason, please put it in the comment of the video. It's going to be very interesting and it's going to be very helpful for the rest of the community. If you are new to this channel, uh, you can subscribe to the channel and get every new video. So I release one video every week. And you can also get the free training, which is a six steps to help you to build and manage your own aquaponic system in the best conditions. It's going to help you to grow some sustainable, healthy and tasty food in your backyard. So it's really a training to help you to get the good practice and to put all the chances on your side to succeed in aquaponics. You will find this training in the description of the video just below here or in the corner you will find an I like information on the corner of this, uh, of this video. You click on the I like information and you're going to find the link to this free training. So once you get access to the free training, you will arrive to this page. And here you will have uh, a detail of different steps. And each time you got a video or some description to really allow you to build some uh, strong knowledge and to know and to learn the basics of aquaponics so to avoid any uh, mistakes. So just enter your email address and you will receive access to this training. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, please give it a like. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm going to release one video every week and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. 
You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!